You are listening to Charting Wealth, the book, Chapter 5, Candlesticks for Visualizing Price Movement. Let's jump right into the material. Candlesticks offer traders a visual method for charting price movement. This indicator was developed in the 1800s by Japanese rice traders. The reason the method is called candlesticks is because the graphical representation of price movement looks like a candlestick. The candlestick can have a wick protruding from either its top or its bottom. The candlestick principles, patterns, and theories are endless, and they can be fascinating, but they can also waste a lot of time and energy. First and foremost, candlesticks focus on price action and movement, not on why the price of the underlying asset or equity is changing. Price is always deemed to reflect all known information in the market, as well as emotions, that is the fear and greed of the traders, and the expectations of the buyers and the sellers in the marketplace. Although we use a modified form of candlesticks, we'll discuss that later, it is, di- it is necessary to explain th- the traditional method of candlesticks. A specific time frame is reflected by each candlestick with the opening, price, the highest price of the equity during the period, as well as the lowest price and the closing price. Now, there are things called wicks on the candlestick. Those are also known as tails. They're lines, vertical lines that go off the ends of the candlesticks, not all the time, but sometimes. They reflect highs or lows outside the opening or closing prices during a specific time period. Now, candlesticks offer both visual appeal and ease of interpretation. They are much simpler to follow than bar charts and other plot styles because traders can see the information in a flow of price changes. Buying pressure is indicated by hollow candlesticks, particularly green ones, and selling pressure is demonstrated by filled candlesticks, particularly red ones. Long candlesticks bodies show greater buying, that is green, and selling, that is red, pressure. Now, wicks represent highs, as we said earlier, on the top of the candlestick and lows on the bottom of the candlestick. When a long wick exists above the candlestick and a short or no wick is below the candlestick, we know that buyers dominated the time frame represented by that particular candlestick. Conversely, we know that sellers dominated the session when there's a long wick extending at the end or the bottom of the candle and no small wick or no wick or a small wick sticks out of the top of the candlestick. Short candlesticks with long upper and lower wicks are called spinning tops and they indicate uncertainty because think about it, both sides were able to drive the price back and forth. A doji is an extreme form of a spinning top where the opening and closing prices are the same. It looks like a cross. A doji represents significant price indecision. In the marketplace. With traditional candlesticks, you can study and memorize dozens of patterns, but these patterns are not the key to successful trading. We use all the tools in our kit. Candlesticks are just one of several indicators. Now, over time, we, we at Charting Wealth have become very impressed with the simplicity and the helpfulness of a specific candlestick technique called Haiken Ashi. That's my best Japanese. Translated from the Japanese, haikenashi means average pace. We use this technique instead of regular candlesticks because we found that it helps us better isolate trends and follow price movements. Plus, it's very easy to learn. It requires no memorization of complicated patterns that may or may not predict future price movement. The technique works best when it's used with all of our indicators, including the price percent oscillator, the derivative oscillator, trend lines, and our Bollinger Bands. Now, while standard candlesticks are calculated as a series of open, high, low, close for each time period, high and ashi candlesticks are calculated much differently. Now, again, don't get worried about the formula. Why? Because any good charting platform is going to provide you with high and ashi candlesticks as an alternative to standard candlesticks, but for your knowledge, here's how they are calculated. The open in a Heiken Ashi candlestick is the opening price of the previous bar 
plus the closing price of the previous bar divided by 2. The high is the maximum price in the period. The low is the lowest price in the period. The closing price is the opening price plus the highest price plus the lowest price plus the closing price divided by 4. Try to read that 10 times really, really quickly. <clears throat> so again, don't worry about it. It's a mathematical formula. Like we said, any good charting platform is going to do that automatically for you. Now, Heiken Ashi candlesticks are interpreted in much the same way as standard candlesticks. Downward price movement during time periods is shown as red filled candles. Upward price movement during the time period is represented typically by open green boxes. Several primary signals are solved. First, filled candles with no upper wicks demonstrate strong downtrends. This means that a trader should stay short. Second, a filled simple candlestick indicates a downtrend, meaning add to any down position or get out of any long position. Open box candlesticks with no wicks demonstrate strong uptrends. In other words, the trader should stay long. A hollow candlestick by itself signifies an uptrend, meaning exit a short position or add to a long position. A small body surrounded by upper and lower wicks indicates indecision in the market and a possible trend change. Uncertainty means watch out. Here's a simple formula for you to employ. First, open box. Uptrend, stay in your trade. Two, open box with an upper wick and no lower wick. Strong trend, keep riding it. Three, small candle with upper and lower wicks. Indecision in the marketplace, watch out for a trend change may be about to happen. Four, closed filled box indicates a downtrend. Stay short. Five, closed filled box with a lower wick indicates strong downtrend. Stay short until there's a change in the trend. Now, can standard candlestick charting can be complicated and may produce numerous false signals. Heiken Ashi candlesticks we have found have the ability to identify trends because of the unique way that they calculate the average pace of price movement. When used properly, fault signals are much less likely to be encountered. This alternative to standard candlesticks allows a trader to more easily spot trends and not be confused by charting noise. With practice and when used in conjunction with all of our other indicators, Heiken Ashi candlesticks will help a trader spot new or re-establishing trends as well as more easily recognize trend changes or reversals. We hope that you've enjoyed Chapter 5. We would love any comments you have for improvements, anything that you found was not helpful. And again, your help in putting this book together is most appreciated. God bless. All the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.